Yeah. Welcome to my Zone Online School. My name is P.S. Akanime and welcome Chanel. Let's sanitize our hands. Chanel. We clean our hands and then we consider distance, social distance. Our lesson for today is lesson six, multiplication and division. Our lesson for today is on page 10, lesson 6, mathematics, and our topic for today is computation, which is multiplications and division. The competency for grade 4 are as follow. The learner should be able to use the following terminology in context. Times equal sharing divided by multiplied by product and quotient. Second competency is the learner should recall multiplication and division. Facts of the 10 times 10 multiplication tables. Number three, learner should multiply up to three digit numbers by a one digit number with answer less than or equal to 10 thousand using any formal or informal paper and pencil method. Number four, the learner should divide a two-digit number by a number from one up to ten with or without a reminder. The basic competency for grade five, the learner should be able to use the following terminology in context, times, equal sharing, divided by, multiplied by, product, and quotient. Second competency, learner should recall multiplication and division, fix of the um, 12 times 12 multiplication table. The third competency, learner should be able to multiply up to three digit numbers by two digit number with answer less than or equal to 100,000 using any formal or informal paper and pencil method. Last competency, the learner should divide three and four digit numbers by a number from one to 10 with or without a reminder using any formal or informal paper and the pencil method. Let me, the terminology to be used for today uh, as follow. But before we go for the terminology, we need to know what are terminologies. The terminologies are words that tell us when we should add, subtract, multiply, or divide numbers. These terminologies are times equal sharing divided by, multiplied by, product, and quotient. Okay, we have a short multiplication sums here. Uh, for example, 12 times 5, what is our answer? 60. 6 times 7, what is the answer? 42. 9 times 9, what is our answer? 81. And 5 times 5, which is equal to 25. Yes, boys and girls, let's quickly go on page 11 with long multiplication. Every multiplication, sum has a bigger number and a smaller number. We use these two numbers and multiply it with each other. The bigger number is written on top and the smaller number at the bottom. Each of these numbers also has a name in a multiplication sum. The bigger number is known as a multiplicant and the smaller number is known as the multiplier. 
And the answer is known as the product. Boys and girls, let's go for the first example, whereby we have 352. And this number, we call it a multiplicant. And then the smaller number, which is 9, we call it a multiplier. So we need to multiply these two numbers so that we can get our product. Good. Boys and girls, let's start with 2 times 9. And then we can get, what is our answer? Is 18. We write 8, we write the 8, and we take over the 1. Good. The next step, take 5 times 9. 5 times 9, what is our answer? Is 45. 45 plus the 1 here. And then we can get 46. We are not writing the 46 in full, but we take over the 4. The next step, we take 3 times 9, which is 27. And plus the, the 27, we add the 4 up here. And then we, we write the 31 in full. So 3,168, this is our product. Thank you. Boys and girls, we are on page 11. We have example 524 times 23. In this example, we see the multiplier is two digit. When you have a multiplier with two digit, we multiply the multiplicand with each digit one by one in the multiplier. In example, you will first multiply the multiplicand with the 3. Then after, you will multiply the multiplicand with the 2. We need to remember, when we multiply with the 2, it's not a 2, but 20. Because, because it's a 20, we will write down a 0 in the unit place, and this will indicate I'm multiplying with 20. After multiplying with the 2, we end up the numbers to give us our product. Good boys and girls, let's go on the board. We have 524. We multiply it with 23. We start to multiply with the first digit. Okay. We start with 4 times 3, which is 12. We write the 2 here, and then we carry over the 1. Good. Next step, 2 times 3, which is 6. And then we add on the 7 up here. We write our answer, which is 7. Good. Next step is 5 times 3. What is our answer? Is 15. Then we write our 15 down there. Good, we are done with the first digit. We go to the second digit, which is 2 times 4. What is 2 times 4? Is 8. And then we write our, our number here, which is 8. Now, remember, we have a placeholder here, which is 0. We put our 0 there. Good. The next one is um, is 2 times 2, which is 4. We write down our 4 there. The next one is 5 times 2, which is 10. And we write down our 10 in full. Underline for us to get our product. Remember? The sign up here next to it. Good. We start to add the numbers together. What is 2 
plus zero is is two. Seven plus eight. Seven plus eight is fifteen. We write our five and then carry over the one. And then one plus five is six. Six plus four is is ten. We write our our zero there, carry over the one. Good. Now we have one plus one plus zero. What is our answer? Which is two. And then what will happen with our one? We bring down our one here. So that is our product. This is what we call our product, which is 12,052. Boys and girls, let's go on page 12 with division, short division sum. Example 1, we have 42 divided by 7, and what is our answer? 6. Number 2, we have 81 divided by 9. What is the answer? 9. Third, and third example, 12 divided by 6. What is our answer? Two. The last example, we have 72 divided by 9. What is the answer? 8. Good. Long division. In a long division problem, each number has a specific name. The bigger number is known as divided, and the smaller number is known as divisor. The answer is known as a quotient, and what remains is known as a reminder. A division sum also has steps that we need to follow. Step one, division. Step two, multiplication. Step three, subtractions. And then the last step, we should bring down the numbers. These steps are repeated every time until the sum cannot be divided anymore. Boys and girls, let's get on board. Let's work out 1,256 divided by 5. Let's work it out step by step. The first step that we need to take is division. How many times 5 goes in 12. What is our answer? Is 2. Good. We write our 2 on top there. The next step, we need to multiply. We take 2 times 5. 2 times 5, what is our answer? Is 10. And we write our 10 down there. Good. We subtract. The next step. We take 12 minus 10. What is our answer? Is 2. We write our 2 down there. Good. The next one, how many times 2, how many times 2 goes in 5? It can't. Then our solution is we bring down the, the 5. Now we have 25. And we can say how many times 5 goes in 25. How many times? Five times. We write our five up there. Good. The next step is multiplication. We take five times five. Five times five is 25. We write our 25 down there. And then, remember, the next step is subtraction. Then, 25 minus 25, here we got zero. And we write our zero there. What is the next step? Because we have another digit which is not used. We bring down the, we bring down the six. We write our six there. Good. 
Then we need to divide again. 6 divided by 5, we got 1. Where should we write our 1? Up there. We write our 1 there. The next step is multiplication, whereby we make 1 times 5. What is our answer? Is 5. Where should we write our 5? Up there. We write it down there. And remember, the next step is subtraction. Good. Subtraction, we take 6 minus 5. What is our answer? 1. Where should we write our 1? Down here. It's a 1. Good. Then 1 can be... 1 cannot be divided by 5 anymore, and that's become a reminder. Uh, boys and girls, let's go on page 13. We have 1,256. That number is the divided. And the 5 is the divisor. 251, that is our answer which is known as quotient, and the one is the reminder. Good, boys and girls, I want you to go through the next example, and I want you to do it step by step. Good, boys and girls, let's look to the activity. The first one, it says, calculate the following multiplication sum. For the grade four level, I want you to work it out. 315 times 7 and B, 246 times 9. Please, boys and girls, work it out step by step. The grade 5 learners, please work out the following. 471 times 23. D, 314 times 42. Those are two digits. Number two, I want you to calculate the following division sum. The grade four learners, work out 2,421 divided by seven, and B, 3,541 divided by 10. Boys and girls, thank you so much. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the lesson for today. Let's sanitize our hands and remember social distance. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. My name is Shashi. I'm back. And you can always stay active throughout the lockdown. Uh, you can play with your friends, but keep your distance. Like me and my friend. Yay! And you can also jog and sing to be active. Until next time. Bye!
Prevention is important. Help prevent the spread of illness and keep yourself and others well. Hand washing is one of the most effective ways of preventing the spread of germs. Wash your hands regularly with soap and hot water, scrubbing your hands thoroughly for at least 20 seconds. Hand sanitizers can be used but are not recommended as a substitute for hand washing. Use sanitizers in addition to hand washing